Three Indian journalists have been awarded with 2020 Pulitzer Prize in the field of feature photography. On Monday, the names of three prize winners, Dar Yasin, Mukhtar Khan and Chenny Anand were announced virtually. Yasin and Khan are journalists based in Srinagar and Anand based in Jammu. Taking to Twitter, Yasin said, Thank you colleagues, friends, brother. I would just like to say thank you for standing by us always. It is an honor and privilege beyond anyone any we could have ever imagined. It is overwhelming and received this honor. Anand, who like Asin and Khan work for Associate Press, said that the award left him speechless. I was shocked and could not believe. He said, calling the prize winning photos of a continuation of the work he has been doing for 20 years. But there is a controversy. Winning a Pulitzer is not an anti-national. Pulitzer award the best in journalism. But many in India were troubled when three Kashmiris won this prize for the year. After three photojournalists from Jammu and Kashmir were awarded 2020 Pulitzer Awards, India's right wing bandwagon was very troubled by people appreciating their efforts to bring their art stories in the conflict zone. It seems that an international committee lauding the efforts of three Kashmiris photojournalists become too much for the right wing to digest. So the right wing did what it does best with the things it doesn't like it. Call it anti-national. But it forgets that the Pulitzer celebrates the best in journalism, not in political positions and causes. These three photographers documented what happening on the ground. They were not making political statement. That is the duty of journalists. Pictures don't lie or judge, they capture a moment. But the problem for those critiquing the Pulitzer for three Kashmiris photographer perhaps lie elsewhere. For all the loud mouths, I have one thing to say, pick your battles. Is your problem that these journalists choose to document the sorry state affairs created in the valley by the actions of your esteemed government or is it that you can't stand other international committee recognizing and rewarding the people for documenting it. The Pulitzer awarded to the Kashmir journalist was already a great hit to an Indian right-wing ego. But things turned specially sore after Congress leader Rahul Gandhi stirred controversy knowingly and unknowingly by offering his congratulations to an Indian photojournalist for their powerful image and life in the valley. BJP spokesperson Sambit Patra, otherwise known for his wild comment on prime time, TV debates, unsurprisingly takes serious offense on Gandhi congratulatory comments. Patra referred to particular citation of the Pulitzer Awards, what, which claim that these journalists were awarded the prize for striking image of the life in contested territory of Kashmir as India's revoke its independence executed through a communication backout. Everyone could already sense the next question on Patra's mind. Mr. Rahul, is Kashmir an integral part of India? Naturally, many others like BJP IT cell chief Amit Malviya jump in a bandwagon and ask Rahul to clear his stance on Kashmir. Water boundary has a right wing's favorite weapon to push propaganda on social media, but the Pulitzer announcement has taken it a whole new level. An unnecessary dose of water boundary brings false equivalence and counterfactuals to the table. Apart from these obvious problems, the India's right wing seems to have forgotten some of the lessons it has preached. After the dilution of Article 370, Prime Minister Modi and his party members have gone to different lengths to assert the Kashmiris must be treated like our brothers and sisters. Apart from that, on many occasions, the right wing has claimed that all Kashmiris are Indians and must be welcomed like that. Despite the stance in the past, the Indian right wing seems to have fallen into their own trap. It wants us to view Kashmiris as an Indians generally, but not when they win a Pulitzer. Sims also demanded that Indians start his own Pulitzer Prize because they simply couldn't agree with the choice of its selection committee. Others shared the pictures of CRPF men with Kashmiri and complained that these won't win awards because it doesn't fit a narrative. 
but before an indian pulitzer let's celebrate awardees this year and the many of journalists deserving on such awards the people who set the standard of what free press should like it thank you subscribe now and press the bell icon never miss an update